हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इनफाइनाइट नॉलेज एंड टुडे वी गो नॉट टॉक अबाउट वन ऑफ द यूनिक एस टॉपिक वन ऑफ द एडवांस प्रोजेक्ट इन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एस जीरो फाइव वन एंड दैट इज ऑटोमेटिक बिल सिस्टम सो व्हाट एक्चुअली इट्स कंटेंट दैट इज अ वन माइक्रो कंट्रोल दैट इज इंटरफेसिंग विद द की बोर्ड एज वेल एज द सेवन सेगमेंट डिस्प्लेस एंड द सिक्सटीन क्रोस टू एल डिस्प्ले सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सेट एल आर फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर टाइमिंग सो लेट्स कंसिडर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिंग this bell after a particular time let's say a 15 minute let's say a 30 minute so for setting this 30, 30 minutes 60 minute by this keyboard and this uh, this uh, t- seven segment will uh, will help you to un- uh, to know about the timing at what timing or after a uh, after that timing uh, this uh, um, uh, bell will rung, rung, ring and uh, 16 cross 2 lcd display uh, indicate uh, which alarm you have set by the microcontroller so first uh, i am simulating it so if i press the one button here so you can say alarm set for 10 second and this uh, uh, l- uh, seven segment continue to rotate or continue to increase so after a 10 second after a 10 second this bell will rung ring after 10 second this bell will ring okay you can say the bell is now on it is a rotating is my the pin is high and this pin number number is high and bell is on so this is a uh, alarm set for 10 second now if i resetting it and again i press the second number so what is alarm set for 20 second so after a 20 second after a particular 20 second this bell will ring <coughs> so this is how you can set the alarm for different different seconds and for different different timing so here we have uh, we can set f- uh, in between uh, 0 to 60 second because uh, i have used only a 4 uh, 7 segment if you want you can increase the 7 segment but if you increase the 7 segment you have to replace this decoder by 2 2 by 4 to 3 by 6 so in in this in this we can assign or we can set any timer for any second in between 0 to 60 uh, second so this uh, concept is actually used in industries also in which uh, when you Uh, put any system for a particular timing for a particular timing and after that timing you will get an indication or you will get an alarm <coughs> like through bell that indicate your system is your work is completely uh, completed and now you have to do something else so uh, to reduce malfunctioning by any human to reduce error by human we can use this alarm system for a particular timing for a particular timing you get an alarm so again i have uh, stopped the simulation and again start the simulation now if i press the three number so alarm set for the 30 second so after a 30 second after a 30 second now it is starting okay yes now it start it take time it, it takes some some time to start because there is a uh, there is a number of instruction that microcontroller have to execute for this lcd also for this keyboard also for this one also that's why there is a some 1 to 2 second delay are there if you want to reduce i can make some pro, uh, i can change some arrangement to reduce the second so no necessary uh, no necessary to do anything just uh, you have to set a just you have to press uh, the buttons on this uh, keyboard and according to that button your alarm is set for three number it is a 30 second for two number is a 20 second for one number is a 10 second you can set any alarm in between in between 0 second to or 0 to uh, 59 minute because uh, this uh, uh, timer or this clock is for 0 0 these two are for the seconds and these two are for the minute so maximum minute is 59 or you can say 60 for 1 hours for up to 1 hours you can set the alarm so after a 30 you can say after 27 28 at 29 and 30 your bell is on now and your alarm is set for 30 second so it is uh, th- actually this lcd indicate what uh, l- what is the alarm that you have set in your system thanks for watching this video if you want this project you can get in by the description box or you can if you want if you want to do a project by me if you want you have any particular project and if you want i will make your project then contact me on my email id that is given in the description box thanks for watching this video if you have still any query just comment it i will definitely